Hello, everybody. Uh, thank you for having me here today. My name is uh, Elena Grosso. I am a PhD student within the Crop Science Department in Chagas, Ireland, and uh, the Science and Health Department in the Southeast Technological University uh, in Carlo in Ireland. And today I want to give you a short presentation of screening plant grow promoting bacteria using bespoke rhizoboxes for affordable root phenotyping. Uh, what I want to tell you from the beginning is that I uh, am quite new to the phenotyping field uh, and uh, I had to develop this uh, method for uh, root phenotyping during the pandemic while it was really difficult to um, identify and actually go to partners that facility uh, partners uh, that uh, have the facilities to help me with uh, phenotyping my uh, plants. I would like to start by reminding you what are the current limitations in crop production, they being the increased climate, the need for increased climate resilience, the or changing EU regulations on the use of plant protection products. As you probably may know, more than 50% of the plant protection products that were available two years ago, they are now banned. And also the ambitious farm to four goals for 2030. In the light of the plant phenotyping uh, uh, systems, what I found as a newbie in the field while reading about it, was all these kind of expressions, such as research phenotyping platform, high trout throughput phenotyping system, 3D reconstruction, plant imaging. I got a bit lost while reading all this, but what I found similar to most of this uh, expression was the high cost of uh, this kind of work. While we are, what we are actually looking uh, for and what I was looking for was to find something cost efficient, affordable, and most of it, accessible because I'm a biologist so I don't know much about engineering and developing softwares. Uh, because the main idea is that we use all these uh, platforms to um, translate the work we do in the lab to the field. And going back to one of the current limitations in crop production, I want to introduce you plant growth promoting bacteria and their role in agriculture. Most of them act as biocontrol agents. Um, when the pathogen is present um, on the plant, they activate defense mechanism and also biofertilizer agents, um, helping plants to acquire nutrients by solubilizing uh, potassium, phosphate, nitrates, and also synthesizing phytohormones that help uh, plant growth. But what is the role of root architecture in crop yield? Well, biologically, as you probably know already, roots are um, classified in shallow and deeper roots. The shallow roots are the top or the top roots. They are, top, they are present on the top soil and are better at capturing immobile nutrients such as potassium and phosphate. While deeper roots are able to capture water and mobile nutrients such as nitrate in scarce conditions. For example, in drought condition, it's really difficult to, in drought condition, the water and mobile nutrients, they will go deeper in the soil. So if we have a, a deep and dense root system, then the plants will be less stressed. And also out of the plants, um, um, from the total amount of CO2 uh, collected from the atmosphere, most of it is um, stored in the deeper roots. So a bigger and denser root, uh, uh, deeper root system will hold more CO2. So when it comes to, rise of, uh, to root phenotyping, uh, I was looking for a easy to build and affordable uh, method. So I built rhizoboxes as, I mean, they are quite popular in the uh, root phenotyping uh, um, field. And I, the process is quite simple. I took a wood board, it's treated against uh, water um, um, uh, 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 effect on it. Uh, also three timbers uh, that uh, are used to, set, to hold the soil and also to separate the, the root, uh, the rhizobox in two. An and an acrylic sheet. 
All of them were put together using the um, wood screws and the drill, and the total cost of this riser box is 33 euro. Uh, when the, um, analyzing the effect on uh, of a root uh, of bacteria on root developing, uh, that usually the treatment, uh, the untreated seeds are placed on the left, while the treated seed are placed, the bacteria treated seed are placed on the right, and we are looking to see if there is any difference in the root development. The riser boxes are placed at 45 degrees angle, with the acrylic sheet facing facing down on the black cover to avoid uh, uh, light exposure. And the pictures are shot with a phone camera, or it can be any camera can be used. And uh, the software used to analyze the picture is the free available software, uh, Rise of Vision Explorer. One of the results looks like this. So in the, on the left, I have uh, oil seed rape plants. I have on the left part of the picture, the untreated uh, plants. On the right part of the picture, I have the, the plants with the bacteria present. We can see clearly there is a big difference. Bacteria is improving uh, root development and also shoot development. When skeletonizing the picture, this picture using the Rise of Vision software, we were able to identify um, data for 38 variables. This is a huge amount of data and I wasn't sure how to use it, but using a simple principal component analysis test uh, in our studio, I was able to identify two that are um, more important uh, in differentiating the two um, treatments, me being the median number of roots. As you can see in the graph, the num median number of roots for uh, treat bacteria treated plants is eight, while for um, untreated plant is four, and also we can see a difference in the shallow angle frequency. Moving on to another crop, I have here wheat, for which we can see that the, the roots aren't as, um, the difference in the deeper uh, depth of the roots isn't uh, that uh, impressive as for oil citrate, but what we can see, and it's again highlighted by skeletonizing using the Rise of Vision software, is that there, we have more shallow uh, roots and also the deeper roots are thicker. Again, using the principal component analysis in our studio, we were able to uh, for from out of the 38 variables to identify that there is a big difference given by the maximum diameter and the shallow angle frequency again when the bacteria is present. And the last uh, crop I want to uh, present to you is the faba bean, for which uh, visually we don't see a difference given by root structure, given by the presence of the bacteria. But after skeletonizing the uh, riser box using the software, we were able to identify two variables that uh, might uh, that seem to be different for the two treatments, being the Median number of roots again, with, but with a very slight difference, and also the average root orientation. Um, concluding, when it comes to the costs, uh, usually the commercial available software used um, for root phenotyping ha have high costs. This the 100 up to 1,000 euro were the low cost ones I could identify. They can go up to 10,000 euro. While the Rise of Vision Explorer uh, is a free available software, when it comes to riser boxes, I asked for, for them to be custom made by a company, and the cost that I get got back for the same riser box was 175 euro, while I was able to build it for only 33 euro. So, in conclusion, I, we can say that this method is low cost, non destructive, and uh, allows us to, to explore in real time the root. Uh, structure. I'd like to conclude again by highlighting again that this bespoke riser boxes and the free available software riser vision explorer um, represents a low cost non-destructive method for real-time root architecture studies and also uh, to show you that um, this affordable root phenotyping method allowed us to identify that uh, the plant growth promoti promoting bacteria study influences root development. Our future plans include 
confirm the beneficial uh, plant rhizobacteria interaction by increasing the number of replication. At the moment, we build more rhizoboxes and we plan on working a bit on um, a different uh, picture taking um, process because we have some issue with the reflect reflections on of the acrylic sheets. And also we plan to study more uh, crop species. I would like to acknowledge the contribution of my supervisors and also the World Scholarship Program that is funding my project. To thank you all of you for your attention. I'm happy to take any questions.